kind of strange, but there's this thing called A and D ointment. It's lotion. Oh. It's a, um, I, I found out about it when I started getting tattoos. And oh, okay. um, what it does is it's like it's for it's for rashes and um, for cuts and minor abrasions and things like that. But it's a great um, chapstick. It's great if you want to like slick down your eyebrows. It's great if you like have dry skin somewhere. It's a, it's a really multi-purpose thing. I always carry cool. A and D with me. And if I feel like getting a tattoo, I can always keep it nice and, and moisturized. <laughs> Cool. Um, A&D is one of my things. I also like to take off my eye makeup with baby oil. Oh. Um, and then, of course, you know, Perfecta Wash is, is another one of these secrets that um, I'm excited to share with people, um, and I'm excited for them to try it. Very cool. Okay. And what do you think, what should people know about Perfecta Wash out there? They should know that it doesn't, it doesn't feel harsh, you know what I mean? Um, it, it's, it's really pleasant. It smells great. Um, and it, it looks good, and it's super easy. I actually, I'm a nerd, and like to put my hand under it, it goes, and it dispenses this like perfect little thing. I, I have fun with that, so it's like a little gadget for me. Um, and I like to have it out on my countertop. It's, it's, it's an attractive thing to, to have, and I just think it's, you know, it's practical, and it, and it works, and it's good looking. Uh, what beauty advice would you give your 13-year-old self who could travel? Ooh, my 13-year-old self. Good, great question. Um, you wear sunscreen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. What skin issues would you say that you have? Are you oily, you dry, you acne prone? What's going on? Um, I have combination skin. So especially when I'm under great stress or like my body is very, very sensitive. So if I eat something, you know, that uh, my body's like, why, why did you do that? Or, um, you know, if I'm traveling to different climates and stuff, get very sensitive. So I would say sensitive and combination. I am prone to breakouts. But, um, but typically if I, if I stay consistent, then, you know, I'm, I'm all right. And why did you color your hair? Because I was talking with my stylist, um, my stylist friend, and he's like, oh, I love her new look, which Thank is you. really good. <laughs> look, the hair is different. We're, we're doing, it's like a, like a sexy retro Betty Page. Okay, like, thank you. <laughs> uh, it's just, uh, just a representation of the fact that I didn't want to be uh, blonde anymore. And, uh, you know, I, I was born with, like, chestnut colored hair, so it's not like it's too far off. But when I started, when I started uh, living on my own and... Go, going through a lot, How Percy. I'll be 21 on the 20th. Ooh, mm, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Christmas, baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to do something different. I was bored, and I wanted to express that with my hair, I suppose. Well, good, and I'm so excited for you to try your first drink. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're from Massachusetts, so. <laughs> so you said your music is more aggressive, more angsty than before. What what brought that on? What, where does that inspiration come from? It's interesting because I'm sure people are like, well, it's not like you were aggressive and angsty before. You're mm -hmm. bringing, like, you know, telling little boys to get out at 13. <laughs> what, what the heck? No, so it's not like, um, this is not by any means a boy bashing album or something like that. There's a lot of great guys out there, upstanding mm -hmm. gentlemen. So it's not like I'm like, you know, you forget them, anything like that. But it's just... I, um, I went through a lot of ups and downs and mm. discovering myself, losing myself to find myself, and you can hear that. I wrote my way through these last few years, mm. and, uh, you know, moving from Massachusetts to L.A., finding myself as a young woman, not only professionally, but personally, and um, just, you know, figuring out how to be a young adult is, is a lot, and especially um, doing that and wanting to make a name for yourself, you know, in, in, in that time. So um, you can hear my kind of struggle and my mm -hmm. determination, even in the delivery of my, my vocals. So there wasn't a specific boy behind it? Yeah, there's definitely specific <laughs> people, people that I talk about, but, uh, you know, they don't deserve to be named. <laughs> oh, there you go, I like that. And his Twitter handle. Oh, <laughs> no. I have a question. Who are, what are the top three songs on your iPod that you listen to the most? Um, great question. Um, I really like Will I Am's The Hardest Ever right now, mm -hmm. and it's a great song to work out to. That's really fun. It makes me feel like a beast, you know. I just gotta stay on that elliptical. And um, let's see, what else am I really liking to listen to right now? Um, John Mayer. Um, uh, Friggin' uh, what's the name of it? I wanna run to the heart. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's kind of a why throwback. Doesn't that, why doesn't anyone know but what that's called? called <laughs> right. yeah, we all know that no song. No such thing. It's like yes. one of his first singles. Yeah. I just, I'm really, I, I'm in the season of listening to that. Um, and and Frank Sinatra, um, the best is yet to come. Oh, good round Very eclectic mix. Thank you. Thank you. Um, who's your style icon? Great question. Um, mm -hmm. I'm I'm really influenced by a, a lot of different uh, different people. I, I love what Rihanna's doing mm -hmm. for um, you know someone who's my kind of contemporary. Um, and lately, I've been researching a lot of old Hollywood. Not necessarily mm -hmm. that that directly influences what I'm wearing, but like uh, the era of the Rat Pack and Ava Gardner and things like mm. that. So just kind of experimenting with 
some makeup and, and style things that go along with that, but not not sure. necessarily yeah. looking to do the, uh, you know, the, the straight up pinup, but just taking uh -huh. inspiration where it comes. Um, so are you a vintage shopper? I mean, do you like vintage clothes and stuff like that? I do. I do. Uh -huh. I like to switch it up. I like, you know, cheap bargain finds, uh -huh. and I like, you know, luxury, um, expensive pieces, and I like to combine them. What are your three things in your closet right now that you cannot live without? I can't live without my pair of uh, distressed combat boots mm -hmm. that are actually like combat boots from, uh, you know, someone actually wore them in, in war, apparently, and then I got them from a, a shop, mm -hmm. studied them out. I just wear them all the time. Um, I also have this big blue Fendi bag that is so obnoxious probably, but I love it. And uh, I carry it regardless of whether I'm wearing orange or blue or white, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have a great um, a great leather jacket, which I think mm -hmm. every girl should have a staple leather jacket. And those are the three things that I can't live without. Is there anything you won't wear? Yeah, there are things I won't wear, but, but then I, I'll i change my mind the next day. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's my prerogative as a girl, I guess. <laughs> great. Who do you follow on Twitter? Maybe just like one or two people that you like to, that you think are funny or um, who do inspirational. Who I think is so funny? Um, I'm a follow Questlove. Okay. Um, I follow, this is so silly, but uh, pimp Bill Clinton. So it's like oh, Bill funny. Clinton as if he was like, you know. Hilarious. So that's funny. <laughs> that's good. Off the um, and who else do I think is great? Mm. Gosh, uh, that's good. Yeah, okay, cool. I'll accept that answer. <laughs> That's your final answer. Great. Final answer. Great.